Today we're upgrading uh, Gaia to V16. It's supposed to happen in a couple of minutes. I'm not sure how, how many minutes, maybe 15 minutes or so. Uh, and that's basically been our work for the past, uh, I think it's almost a month because the release has been ready for a while. Uh, what, what that release contains uh, is something from the ICS side that has epochs code. What that will do is it will basically reduce relayer cost uh, by a significant amount because a packet with uh, validator information is going to be sent out once every hour instead of once every six seconds. So there's going to be a huge boon for the validators. Uh, there's other stuff in the uh, upgrade and you can see it in the final release note. So there's a bunch of IBC modules that we added to enable some uh, functionality on, on the guide chain. Most notably, there's a IBC limiter and the interchain uh, accounts. So moving on, we added versioning to the Gaia documentation. Now you can see all of the versions since V1 uh, in an archive style repo, and you can see the latest and upcoming releases uh, on the Gaia webpage. Uh, we have a policy of, I think, supporting the last two releases for, for bug fixes, just in case somebody's running uh, nodes. Then this is the ICS 4.1, which included the epochs uh, in the aforementioned upgrade. Moving on, uh, we have ICS V5 out with SDK V50. This was a requirement uh, for an up and coming uh, Neutron release. I'm not sure about the timeline. You have to ask Neutron that. And we will also have a V5.1 uh, adding TSF features. That's going to be coming up in like maybe a couple of uh, next weeks. So we also have ICS2 ready. If you remember a very old blog post for like from like three years ago, uh, partial security allows uh, validators from to basically opt in into running a consumer chain, whereas the V1 had every validator on the hub running a consumer chain. Uh, that's targeted for Gaia V17, which is out and is already running on both of our testnets and it's currently going through Something interesting, I think Lexa is going to talk about it uh, some more. So future work and new stuff. Uh, we're working on the security aggregation uh, features. They have been showcased on the on the forum. Uh, you can read about it, but basically uh, what it will allow, it will allow the Cosmos Hub to be like a security platform where it will be able to consume uh, validated powers from external sources, such as Babylon, as shown in the uh, in the forum post. It's a good read. There's some pictures. Uh, should be fine. Should be fine to read. I mean, uh, then what we're working on, you can also see it on the forum. There's community uh, guidelines for Cosm Wasm, so that to define what actually goes on the Cosm on the Cosmos Hub in terms of Cosm Wasm. Uh, it's a short discussion, but it's also a worthwhile read because the Cosmos Hub is going to be getting Cosmos wasn't soon. Uh, and that's, that's all as I'm trying to speed run it. And you also have the report on the forum for both informal uh, and hyper. Uh, with that, I'll give the word to Lexa. I will also speed through my stuff to get to this upgrade. So we've been running a pilot of the testnet incentive program funded by AADAO for the last couple months. That pilot has now wrapped up and I owe everyone a report, which we should see on the forum in the next two weeks or so. Uh, fortunately, we've also renewed that funding from AADAO. So we're funded till the end of October for that. Or, you know, if the testnet blows up and we have a million validators on it, maybe the money will run out sooner. Uh, I actually don't know which one I'm hoping for. Uh, on the path towards ICS 2.0 on mainnet, we have a bunch of off-chain work that needs to happen as well. So I've set up Discord channels for opt-in chains to communicate with validators about their uh, business proposition. And uh, we haven't seen a lot of activity there yet, but uh, we'll keep pushing those and get some communication between those teams. The big event right now that we're currently in the midst of is ILE, the incentivized testnet. So we have 65 validators uh, being trained on ICS 2.0, so learning to do stuff like opt into chains, opt out of chains, assign their pub keys, 
for each chain set a per chain commission rate uh, and just interacting with the technology. So we got a ton of questions on how it all works. And I think people are feeling a lot more confident about it now that they've gotten to experience it. And we'll be paying out incentives for that at the end of the week, also funded by AADAO. Uh, we've launched three chains there so far, and then we've been adding to our FAQ in GitHub, which uh, Philip knows about, and some of that might make its way into the ICS 2.0 docs. Um, I was typing in this call, so I didn't add it to the agenda, but I will. We're expecting Ellis to launch on Isle tomorrow and then Lorenzo on Friday. So we'll hopefully get to see their actual binaries in action and see how their teams coordinate the validator set, which is going to be super valuable for their mainnet operations. I'll pass it over to Crypto Crew. Uh, yeah, so um, we've been also working on the Isle testnet for the most part. So um, for Alice, um, like we we finished the integration and at that point, a uh, uh, big thanks to Mattia for helping us with that also. And um, basically, yeah, we integrated all the CCV consumer models. Um, we have our own uh, test suite for testing it with a provider chain and all our tests pass. So that is looking good. Um, for Lorenzo, we're still um, working a bit on the integration of the models. Everything should work, but there's some problem with their uh, starting in this initialization that we still have to figure out a bit. Otherwise, we have to start the chain in a different way. And then we also have been looking at the spawn tool for spawning change and how that might help future change to either uh, just launch or as a consumer chain. And they added an uh, interchain security module into their um, setup, which you can choose when spawning a chain. And we tested this module with our internal test suite and all the test cases best. So I think spawn is also looking really good. So that yes. was from our part. Yeah. Awesome. Thanks, everyone. So I'll close the the doc. And uh, are there any questions? Are there any other updates that we should share? I think I think we're good. But um, I I know that we're uh, we're looking a little antsy because the upgrade is happening. But I think that for those who will be uh, watching on the YouTube um, next week, we will deep dive into the roadmap or next next week, whenever we have our next call, we'll deep dive into the roadmap and answer any of the questions there. So uh, please join us uh, for that interesting uh, meeting. So I think we can let everyone go and uh, upgrade. <laughs> Um, I think I, uh, on a small note um, from, from our side, Crypto Crew's side, um, the work on the docs has been a little bit pushed back um, because of current timelines with um, the consumer integration, um, but we're still um, looking into completing a pull request by this week. Amazing. Great. Thanks for that, Clint. Sure. Okay, great. Thank you. Well, good luck on the upgrade and hopefully we'll see you on the other side. Thanks, Thank you, everyone. Bye. Bye. Yeah, enjoy. Thanks, guys.